Hi guys, my name is Grace and I've just decided I've just to do a reading today because I'm really cold um feel cold to do it. And it will be an impromptu one. I just really want to do a reading today. I haven't done for a while. I still do the um divine masculine, divine feminine energy checks readings. I just don't feel like doing it at the moment but I think I'll be doing it tomorrow if I yeah just before I believe it's um there will be another full moon coming full moon in Sagittarius but yeah so I have two cards here and just choose and pick which one you know the drill and this is the reason why there's a lack of communication i haven't looked at the cards yet so this will be card one and card two are you done so i'm just gonna go ahead on the card number one the card number one oh my gosh <laughs> Many of my favorite memories are with you. That's the message for you today. So now let's see. Why is there a lack of communication for the people? We'll pick card number one. Bear with me while I pull the cards out. So, the moon. Huh. A lot of secrets are hidden. Within this um, particular connection. And I feel like some people are struggling also. So what is this about? Secrets. Secrets. Obviously, lack of communication. There are some secrets. What else? This could also be... I don't really do astrological signs, but this can be... Pisces, I believe, too. But it doesn't have to be. And the Seven of Swords with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, um, yeah, Seven of Swords is not really a positive card. But whatever this secret is about, it is about something that um, is about deception. Um, having a false mask and just not being true and authentic. It could be cheating for some people. And um, I don't know. For some people, I think you probably are aware of this already. You're just waiting for them to admit to it. And I, I feel like for some people, it's like this other person coming to you for forgiveness for whatever. I feel like this might have been in the past. Whatever this manipulation, ill behavior that has happened and that have prevented some new beginnings with the ace of wands here this could be also you know something sexual to related to that yeah like um could be a third party because it's cheating something like that but it, it prevented some sort of beginning some sort of taking action what else? So we have here the death 
card in reverse so whenever I see this that is about change but we have here the secret <laughs> could be related to them not having the courage to change or struggling to change it's 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 like um for some people i don't feel like they're not trying at all i feel like they are trying but it's just that they are struggling to change their ways that's why the full card here is in reverse too because as i've already said taking risks i feel like jumping this risk could be related to jumping into a connection or a relationship with you too this new beginning that stunted that is not happened yet because they're, they're attracted to this um, connection with you connecting with you or communicating with you but at the same time they're just whatever they've done it's just preventing them to um, take risks and go towards this unknown because this is very i don't know this is very new to them it's very like very it could be a fear of unknown too <sighs> too many cards that are um reverse so with heavier the eight of pentacles in reverse so this is all about having all the skills that you need to start some a new beginning so obviously we have here the ace of wands so it's a stunted beginning and at the first place it's not a beginning it has never this fresh start has never happened yet it's probably because they still don't have all the things that they need they still haven't probably learned the lesson for some people and for some people this is just an illusion like they think they don't have all the tools that they need when when in reality all the tools that you ever need is already within you um and then for some in this would not be for everybody but i feel like that fear is really big that they're not um they're not willing to do the work at this moment it doesn't mean that it's not going to change anytime but for some people that's what i'm getting what else Oh, okay, okay. This is a change. This is a good one, a good change. Because we have here the Ace of Swords from, from the Moon card to the Death card in reverse, not willing to change. We're seeing here like um, the Ace of Swords, which is um, a change, a, a big change where people are now speaking their truth communicating and it could be related to a matter of like a moon phases like it's a cycle so just stay calm <laughs> and it looks like um they will come at a point where they will speak their truth and and live with more authentically with more integrity what else that's really good two of cups in reverse hmm. and what else queen of cups in reverse hmm. this the truth that they are going to be speaking about is related to why did not 
I feel like for some people, it's related to relationship that did not work out. Why? Or it could be related to the problems. I'm hearing it's not you, it's me. The problem in the relationship, so you don't need have to blame yourself. And... I'm also hearing thank you f- so much for offering the love. And um, they might not able to reciprocate it before. I feel like I wanted to pick three more cards. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I see the Queen of Cups, especially if it's reversed, I, I get sadness. It could, it could be you being sad or them being sad too or just feeling each other's emotions. Three more cards, three more final cards for this. And we have here Page of Pentacles. This is um, creating new ideas. This is many having many ideas. Um, this is like starting to create new ideas about stability ideas on how to take yeah how to create more stability um they could be speaking their truth and sharing some ideas how to work things out just ideas for now um it's not taking action yet but um as i I feel like it's up to you and your own connection and your own intuition if um you're gonna let them in Again, let them back in. Because we have the Six of Cups. Um, this, what I got, what I'm getting is reunion. Reunion. Getting back together. Balancing the cups of um, love. Like, we're halfway there. Submerging ourselves with, um, this is like, what I'm getting is, we're, we're half submer half this woman here is half submerged in the water so it's like she's she's now more whether it's a she or a he it's she, this person that um channeling she's now more um she uses her head as much as she uses her heart it's like there's a balance in the heart and the mind she's learned her lesson she follows the intuition and the final message is the hero fund. This is a great spiritual growth as a result of everything that has happened within this particular connection. This is like gaining some spiritual insights. And for some people, this could also be marriage, like a priest or something. Because I always see it as the hero fund as the priest or marriage. So... That's the message for the people who picked this card here. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you want a love connection reading from me, every, um, my details are down below. If it's a twin, twin flame reading, it's um, just um, my readings are not like um, structured. It it, de- it really depends on your situation. So, and if you have a quick question, you can just use Instant Go. Uh, I, bl- I try. I, I respond quicker to that, to Instant Go. I try my best to, at least. Anyway, now for the people who pick card number two. I have here, your calming presence is truly appreciated. So, wow, that's the message for you in addition to this who, on whoever the, this person is. And yeah, definitely make them feel very calm. And Probably like like an angel to them. <laughs> and
the way I'm just gonna shuffle this card and I'm start I'll start with the reading just bear with me Why is there a lack of communication? The people who pick card number to find spirits. For now, it's good to wear. One more. Okay. All right. Oh, there. Two of Pentacles. Someone's making a decision. <laughs> Probably deciding whether to communicate or not. Um, I'm not sure if she'll take me seriously. I'm not sure. I'm just. I just got that. I'm. Um, this other person, or it could be you too. It's not sure. It's nervous whether. Um, whether the person that they'll be communicating with will reciprocate. So they're on like a crossroad deciding whether it's worth it to communicate or not. It could be you or the other person. I mean, I don't do here. Um, I don't want to... I just want to give you guidance, but I don't want to make it make the decision for you. I don't want to do that. Like, if you should communicate or not, um, I'll just you know. I believe it's like a personal decision. If you and your own following your own intuition is is still the best thing. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> We have heard the Emperor card. This could be related to a father, being a father, father of your child, um, father issues, um, something related to father. Or it could be for some people about being controlling. Yeah, this could be, you just want to take control. It, it's not always negative, but when it's overdone, obviously it will be negative. Trying to control the situation. Um, yeah, uh, I got this. Some people trying to control the outcome. Obviously, it's unknown. You can't see it. But... There's just a fear regarding to that, so they're trying. They're trying to control the outcome, but it's not. I don't think it's gonna work that way. What else? It's um getting. This is about forming a stable foundation, offering a stable foundation, or stable offer. I've just, I don't know, I've just got that. And we have here the Magician card. This is, yeah, this is manifesting something. And I feel like it's something related in the, phys in the physical because we have read the Two of Pentacles. Um, just getting for some people. If you're wondering if you're still in their mind, you are still on their mind. They want to be open. And they just want to show like all the, their scars and their vulnerability. That's also what I'm getting. <laughs> for some people, they can be having sleepless nights too. <laughs> too much thinking. With the blasted bitch, this is the tower card, but it's in reverse. 
so related to the two of pentacles here ah oh, i feel like something a change is happening but they're trying to their best to resist it i feel like this is about resisting change yes but it's gonna happen anyway you can't hold it back if it's meant to happen it's gonna happen it's force um it's flow allowing it to flow instead of forcing it and they feel that this change is going to happen whether it's like physical change something yeah tangible because it's the two of pentacles here in the material or it could be a change in beliefs too but they feel it's gonna happen that's why they're deciding now they're stressing now almost stressing deciding if they're gonna communicate or not they have to make a decision because there's this um the tower card in reverse what else didn't want to come out i think it's the lover's card no i'm not feeling that i wonder if you can hear the rain outside because it's like really raining and there's some thunder okay that's too much okay five of pentacles in reverse um Mm. for some people they're trying to control the outcome because they don't want to be they're still stuck and they're thinking that they're going to be rejected and for some people if the if you're the one that was left out in the cold they're still stuck in the thinking that they're going to be abandoned that thinking is needs to be released because it's affecting um, whatever this foundation you're creating, it's affecting that. If you still have unhealed issues regarding to that. to that, And we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, I feel like someone with the Magician card here is really... You remember I said sleepless nights? They're stalking. <laughs> And it could be unhealthy too. Because it's like obsess and it's borderline obsessive. It could be you or the other person. Just saying. Because they just want to cut away through the truth. But you can't just, you know, stalk like a social media or something. Stalk a person. Ask them. The best way to do this is ask them personally. And I've that's just um, what I've learned. I think I've learned it the hard way. But, you know, you can just assume. To act more with integrity, part of acting more with integrity and being honest and living authentic life is speaking the truth as much as you can at all times. Um... Not being harsh about it, but try to do it with more compassion, obviously. What else? Ooh. The Hermit card. So, okay. Okay, I think for some people that this tower is going to happen and it will force them to go within for some people they're trying to go within regarding making this decision to communicate 
a lot, a lot of time might have passed already and they're not sure if they're going to be received. And this is like going within to get some wisdom out of situation. Um... They're also thinking, they're thinking hard, that's what I'm getting, like, if, why, they're, they're not only thinking why, they're thinking about this specific connection, I feel, really do feel like it's a relationship, thinking why they have those fears of communicating, why they can't just be authentic and say what they want to say. At the same time, they're thinking about what, like with the magician here, they're thinking what the best thing to say to be able to make their point across. For some people, I feel like they've changed. They were changed probably by the tower here. Because this would probably a pat um this for some people this would be a past thing, something happened, and now boom they're thinking about this connection again. And they're trying to go within to gain some wisdom, and to also make a decision whether to communicate. Two more cards, please. What else? So coming up. Okay. This is really this really wants to come out the shadow dance. So this could be um, something related to lust, could be cheating, could be third party, could be an affair, could be just a toxic behavior, whatever this toxic behavior they've done. Um, For some people, it's not, this could be like um, an indication, could be a warning that, so that you should think carefully if you're going to take this person back into your life, because for some people, I feel like they're still going to be this way. They're still not going to change their ways. And we have here the sun card in reverse. So yeah, if they're still not changing their ways, then whatever this is, um, this coming back together, this happiness, it's not, it's not going to happen. I feel like someone must have been left out in the cold because of this um whatever this um the devil card here because of like something worldly something um related to lying lying to what else but we do have the hermit here so I feel like for some people now, they're clearly seeing what their actions, how their actions have affected you and this connection. And how it has caused, yeah, for some people, I'm getting, they were going within with the hermit because uh, a tower card that happened in their life. So they're thinking back on their actions and how they were toxic and how, how it happened, how it um, caused this happiness 
cause this like this is like a breakup so what else final three cards for the people who put card number two we have here the knight of pentacles this is having a stable offer although it's not yeah they're now offering something stable they're just not offering a cup they're offering a pentacle they're taking action now they're like yeah literally offering it to you with the knight of pentacles here for because they want a fresh start a new beginning they want this whatever this um the devil card here indicates with your situation they want a fresh start and we have read the full card it's upright position so it's really they're willing now to go to the unknown and follow their bliss follow the spiritual guidance they've get because um, they've got some spiritual guidance for true going within with the hermit card here They really have to separate and go within So don't take it personally if they're currently on the her being on the hermit mode Because they're gonna gain some truths on that final card here Oh gosh <laughs> And we have here additional two cards here. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to end it on that. Let's see. Okay, five of cups. This is about having some negative thinking. It might have affected this relationship too. Um, and also it might have been caused by this obsession. This almost like a stalking obsession. It could be you or the other person, but I feel like it's more you, <laughs> and you're looking at things negatively. That's why what's happening into your life it's manifesting. Yeah, because you're you have the power of being the magician. So if you think negatively, that's kind of what's gonna manifest in your life, and you've probably been with that um, thinking. And we have read the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So that thinking, you weren't, you won, you wasn't able to manifest this. Um, it could be family life that you want with a, st a stable family life, a stable, just a basically a stable life for yourself. This abundance, um, and a happy relationship, you wasn't able to manifest that because of this negative thinking. Yeah. And issues this could be connected to this five here five of Pentacles here of feeling of abandonment and um, and life renewed I love this <laughs> this is the judgment card this is a renewal so we have here the full card and we have here the judgment card so I'm really happy for you guys because um you were you weren't able to manifest this ten of pentacles before but it looks like things are changing this person is offering something more stable now and they realize now they're seeing the spiritual connection now yeah i feel like this could be a spiritual bond too and yes um, that's the reading for the people who pick card number two if you want to book a reading with me and look um just look at more detail on your situation i offer love connection readings or twin flame readings or if you just want to ask a quick question i have my instant go and um thank you so much for watching if you want to follow me in my instagram i haven't <laughs> I've just made it and I think I have three followers or something and I haven't I might be posting more soon depending on what I'm feeling but if you're interested in that it's the Empress Tarot 2222 and thank you so much for watching